Hello and welcome back for day 201. Today we will be reading from the apocryphal book of 1st Esdras, chapters 5 through 9, Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 through 15, and Acts chapter 22. 1st Esdras, chapter 5. After this were the principal men of the families chosen according to their tribes to go up with their wives and sons and daughters, with their men servants and maid servants and their cattle. And Darius sent with them a thousand horsemen till they had brought them back to Jerusalem safely, and with musical instruments, tabrets, and flutes. And all their brethren played, and he made them go up together with them. And these are the names of the men which went up, according to their families among their tribes, after their several heads, the priests, the son of Phineas, the son of Aaron, Jesus, the son of Yozadek, the son of Sarias, and Joachim, the son of Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, of the house of David, out of the kindred of Pharez, of the tribe of Judah, who spake wise sentences before Darius the king of Persia in the second year of his reign, in the month Nisan, which is the first month. And these are they of Jewry that came up from the captivity, where they dwelt as strangers, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away unto Babylon. And they returned unto Jerusalem, and to the other parts of Jewry, every man to his own city, who came with Zorobabel, with Jesus, Nehemias, and Zechariah, and Reesaias, Anenias, Mardocheus, Beelsarus, Asvarasus, Reelius, Roemus, and Baana, their guides, the number of them of the nation, and their governors, sons of Phoros, two thousand and hundred, seventy and two, the sons of Safat, four hundred, seventy and two, the sons of Erez, seven hundred, fifty and six, the sons of Faath, Moab, two thousand, eight hundred and twelve, the sons of Elam, a thousand, two hundred, fifty and four, the sons of Zathui, nine hundred, forty and five, the sons of Korb, seven hundred and five, the sons of Bani, six hundred, forty and eight, the sons of Bebai, six hundred, twenty and three, the sons of Sadas, three thousand, two hundred, twenty and two, the sons of Adonikam, six hundred, sixty and seven, the sons of Bagoi, two thousand, sixty and six, the sons of Adin, four hundred, fifty and four, the sons of Ateresius, ninety and two, the sons of Chelan, and Azetas, threescore and seven, the sons of Azurin, four hundred, thirty and two, the sons of Ananias, an hundred and one, the sons of Arom, thirty-two, and the sons of Basa, three hundred, twenty and three, the sons of Azephirath, an hundred and two, the sons of Materis, three thousand and five, the sons of Bethlehem, an hundred twenty and three, they of Netopha, fifty and five, they of Anathoth, an hundred fifty and eight, they of Bethsamos, forty and two, they of Curiathiarius, twenty and five, they of Chafira and Baroth, seven hundred forty and three, they of Pira, seven hundred, they of Cadius and Amidoi, four hundred twenty and two, they of Kirama and Gabdas, six hundred twenty and one, they of Macalin, an hundred twenty and two, they of Batolius, fifty and two, the sons of Nephis, an hundred fifty and six, the sons of Kalamolelis and Onus, seven hundred twenty and five, the sons of Yerahus, two hundred forty and five, the sons of Onus, three thousand three hundred and thirty, the priests, the sons of Yedu, the son of Jesus among the sons of Sanasib, nine hundred seventy and two, the sons of Maruth, a thousand fifty and two, the sons of Phasarin, a thousand forty and seven, the sons of Karma, a thousand and seventeen, the Levites, the sons of Yesu, and Kadmiel, and Banuas, and Sudius, seventy and four, the holy singers, the sons of Asaph, an hundred twenty and eight, the porters, the sons of Salum, the sons of Yatal, the sons of Tamin, the sons of Dacobi, the sons of Teta, the sons of Sami, in all, an hundred thirty and nine, the servants of the temple, the sons of Esau, the sons of Asipha, the sons of Tabaoth, the sons of Keras, the sons of Sud, the sons of Phaleas, the sons of Labana, 
the sons of Graba, the sons of Akua, the sons of Uta, the sons of Chetab, the sons of Agaba, the sons of Subai, the sons of Anan, the sons of Kathua, the sons of Gedur, the sons of Erus, the sons of Deisan, the sons of Noeba, the sons of Chaseba, the sons of Gazera, the sons of Azia, the sons of Phenis, the sons of Azara, the sons of Bastai, the sons of Asana, the sons of Mayani, the sons of Nafisi, the sons of Akub, the sons of Achifa, the sons of Asur, the sons of Pharisim, the sons of Basaloth, the sons of Meeda, the sons of Koutha, the sons of Harea, the sons of Harkus, the sons of Asered, the sons of Thamoi, the sons of Nasith, the sons of Atifa, the sons of the servants of Solomon, the sons of Azaphion, the sons of Farida, the sons of Yeeli, the sons of Lozon, the sons of Israel, the sons of Sepheth, the sons of Hagia, the sons of Erechareth, the sons of Sabi, the sons of Sarothi, the sons of Masias, the sons of Gar, the sons of Adus, the sons of Suba, the sons of Aphera, the sons of Barodis, the sons of Sabat, the sons of Alom. All the ministers of the temple and the sons of the servants of Solomon were three hundred seventy and two. These came up from Thermaleth and Thalursus, Harathalad leading them, and Alad. Neither could they shew their families nor their stock, how they were of Israel, the sons of Ladan, the son of Ban, the sons of Nakodan, six hundred fifty and two, and of the priests that usurped the office of the priesthood, and were not found, the sons of Obdia, the sons of Akos, the sons of Adus, who married Agia, one of the daughters of Barzalus, and was named after his name. And when the description of the kindred of these men was sought in the register, and was not found, they were removed from executing the office of the priesthood. For unto them said Nehemias and Atharius that they should not be partakers of the holy things, till there arose up an high priest, clothed with doctrine and truth. So of Israel, from them of twelve years old and upward, they were all in number forty thousand, beside men servants and women servants, two thousand three hundred and sixty. Their men servants and handmaids were seven thousand three hundred forty and seven, the singing men and singing women, two hundred forty and five. Four hundred thirty and five camels, seven thousand thirty and six horses, two hundred forty and five mules, five thousand five hundred twenty and five beasts, used to the yoke, and certain of the chief of their families, when they came to the temple of God, that is, in Jerusalem, vowed to set up the house again, in his own place, according to their ability, and to give into the holy treasury of the works a thousand pounds of gold, five thousand of silver, and an hundred priestly vestments. And so dwelt the priests and the Levites, and the people in Jerusalem, and in the country, the singers also and the porters, and all Israel in their villages. But when the seventh month was at hand, and when the children of Israel were every man in his own place, they came all together with one consent into the open place of the first gate, which is toward the east. Then stood up Jesus, the son of Yozadek, and his brethren the priests, and Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, and his brethren, and made ready the altar of the God of Israel, to offer burnt sacrifices upon it, according as it is expressly commanded in the book of Moses, the man of God. And there were gathered unto them out of the other nations of the land, and they erected the altar upon his own place, because all the nations of the land were at enmity with them, and oppressed them, and they offered sacrifices according to the time, and burnt offerings to the Lord, both morning and evening. Also they held the feast of tabernacles, as it is commanded in the law, and offered sacrifices daily, as was meet. And after that, the continual oblations, and the sacrifice of the Sabbaths, and of the new moons, and of all holy feasts, and all they that had made any vow to God began to offer sacrifices to God from the first day of the seventh month, although the temple of the Lord was not yet built. And they gave unto the masons and carpenters money, meat, and drink with cheerfulness. Unto them of Zidon also and Tyre they gave cars, that they should bring cedar trees from Libanus, 
which should be brought by floats to the haven of Yoba, according as it was commanded them by Cyrus, king of the Persians. And in the second year and second month after his coming to the temple of God at Jerusalem, began Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, and Jesus the son of Yozadek, and their brethren, and the priests, and the Levites, and all they were come unto Jerusalem out of the captivity. And they laid the foundation of the house of God in the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come to Jewry and Jerusalem. And they appointed the Levites from twenty years old over the works of the Lord. Then stood up Jesus and his sons and brethren, and Godmiel his brother, and the sons of Madiabun, with the sons of Yoda, the son of Eliadun, with their sons and brethren, all Levites, with one accord setters forward of the business, laboring to advance the works in the house of God. So the workmen built the temple of the Lord, and the priests stood arrayed in their vestments, with musical instruments and trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, had cymbals, singing songs of thanksgiving and praising the Lord, according as David the king of Israel had ordained. And they sung with loud voices, songs to the praise of the Lord, because his mercy and glory is forever in all Israel. And all the people sounded trumpets, and shouted with a loud voice, singing songs of thanksgiving unto the Lord, for the rearing up of the house of the Lord. Also of the priests and Levites, and of the chief of their families, the ancients, who had seen the former house, came to the building of this with weeping and great crying, but many with trumpets and joy shouted with loud voice, insomuch that the trumpets might not be heard for the weeping of the people. Yet the multitude sounded marvelously, so that it was heard afar off. Wherefore, when the enemies of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin heard it, they came to know what that noise of trumpets should mean. And they perceived that they that were of the captivity did build the temple unto the Lord God of Israel. So they went to Zerubbabel and Jesus, and to the chief of the families, and said unto them, We will build together with you, for we likewise, as ye, do obey your Lord, and do sacrifice unto him from the days of Uzbazarith, the king of the Assyrians, who brought us hither. Then Zerubbabel and Jesus, and the chief of the families of Israel, said unto them, It is not for us and you to build together an house unto the Lord our God. We ourselves alone will build unto the Lord of Israel, according as Cyrus the king of the Persians hath commanded us. But the heathen of the land, lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judea, and holding them straight, hindered their building, and by their secret plots, and popular persuasions and commotions, they hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived, so they were hindered from building for the space of two years, until the reign of Darius. First Esdras chapter 6 Now in the second year of the reign of Darius, Agias, and Zechariah, the son of Addo, the prophets, prophesied unto the Jews in Jewry and Jerusalem, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, which was upon them. Then stood up Zorobabel, the son of Salatiel, and Jesus, the son of Yozadek, and began to build the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, the prophets of the Lord being with them and helping them. At the same time came unto them Sisinus, the governor of Syria and Phoenicia, with Sothrabuzinus and his companions, and said unto them, By whose appointment do ye build this house and this roof, and perform all the other things? And who are the workmen that perform these things? Nevertheless, the elders of the Jews obtained favor, because the Lord had visited the captivity, and they were not hindered from building, until such time as signification was given unto Darius concerning them, and an answer received, the copy of the letters which Sisinus, governor of Syria and Phoenicia, and Sathrabuzinus, with their companions, ruler in Syria and Phoenicia, wrote and sent unto Darius, to King Darius, greeting, let all things be known unto our lord the king, that being come into the country of Judea, and entered into the city of Jerusalem, we found in the city of Jerusalem the ancients of the Jews that were of the captivity, building an house unto the Lord, great and new, of hewn and costly stones, and the timber already laid upon the walls. And those works are done with great speed, and the work goeth on prosperously in their hands, and with all glory and diligence is it made. Then asked we these elders, saying, By whose commandments build ye this house? and lay the foundations of these works. Therefore to the intent that we might give knowledge unto thee by writing, we demanded of them who were the chief doers, 
and we required of them the names in writing of their principal men. So they gave us this answer, We are the servants of the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And as for this house, it was builded many years ago by a king of Israel, great and strong, and was finished. But when our fathers provoked God unto wrath, and sinned against the Lord of Israel which is in heaven, he gave them over into the power of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and of the Chaldees, who pulled down the house and burned it, and carried away the people captives unto Babylon. But in the first year that King Cyrus reigned over the country of Babylon, Cyrus the king wrote to build up this house. And the holy vessels of gold and of silver that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away out of the house at Jerusalem, and had set them in his own temple, those Cyrus the king brought forth again out of the temple at Babylon. And they were delivered to Zerubbabel and to Sanabasadrus, the ruler, with commandment that he should carry away the same vessels, and put them in the temple at Jerusalem, and that the temple of the Lord should be built in his place. Then the same son of Basarus, being come hither, laid the foundations of the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, and from that time to this being still a building, it is not yet fully ended. Now therefore, if it seem good unto the king, let search be made among the records of King Cyrus, and it be found that building of the house of the Lord at Jerusalem hath been done with the consent of King Cyrus. And if our lord the king be so minded, let him signify unto us thereof. Then commanded king Darius to seek among the records at Babylon, and so at Ecbatana, the palace, which is in the country of Media, there was found a roll wherein these things were recorded. In the first year of the reign of Cyrus, king Cyrus commanded that the house of the lord at Jerusalem should be built again, where they do sacrifice with continual fire, whose height shall be sixty cubits, and the breadth sixty cubits, with three rows of hewn stones, and one row of new wood of that country, and the expenses thereof to be given out of the house of King Cyrus, and that the holy vessels of the house of the Lord, both gold and silver, that Nebuchadnezzar took out of the house at Jerusalem, and brought to Babylon, should be restored to the house at Jerusalem, and be set in the place where they were before. And also he commanded that Sassinus, the governor of Syria and Phoenicia, and Sathrabuzanes, and their companions, and those which were appointed rulers in Syria and Phoenicia, should be careful not to meddle with the place, but suffer Zerobabel, the servants of the Lord, and governor of Judea, and the elders of the Jews, to build the house of the Lord in that place. I have commanded also to have it built up whole again, and that they look diligently to help those that be of the captivity of the Jews, till the house of the Lord be finished. And out of the tribute of Helusiria and Phoenicia, a portion carefully to be given these men for the sacrifices of the Lord, that is, to Zerobabel, the governor, for bullocks, and rams, and lambs, and also corn, salt, wine, and oil. And that continually every year, without further question, according as the priests that be in Jerusalem, shall signify to be daily spent, that offerings may be made to the Most High God, for the king and for his children, and that they may pray for their lives. And he commanded that whosoever should transgress, yea, or make light of anything aforespoken, or written, out of his own house should a tree be taken, and he thereon be hanged, and all his goods seized for the king. The Lord therefore, whose name is there called upon, utterly destroy every king and nation that stretcheth out his hand to hinder or endamage that house of the Lord in Jerusalem. I, Darius the king, have ordained that according unto these things it be done with diligence. First Esdras, chapter 7. Then Sicinus, the governor of Chelosiria and Phoenicia, and Satrabuzinus, with their companions following the commandments of King Darius, did carefully oversee the holy works, assisting the ancients of the Jews and governors of the temple. And so the holy works prospered, when Agius and Zacharias, the prophets, prophesied. And they finished these things by the commandments of the Lord, God of Israel, and with the consent of Cyrus, Darius, and Artaxerxes, king of Persia. And thus was the holy house finished, in the three and twentieth day of the month Adad, in the sixth year of Darius, king of the Persians. And the children of Israel, the priests, and the Levites, and others that were of the captivity, that were added unto them, did according to the things written in the book of Moses. And to the dedication of the temple of the Lord, 
they offered an hundred bullocks, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and twelve goats for the sin of all Israel, according to the number of the chief of the tribes of Israel. The priests also, and the Levites, stood arrayed in their vestments, according to their kindreds, in the service of the Lord God of Israel, according to the book of Moses, and the porters at every gate. And the children of Israel that were of the captivity held the Passover the fourteenth day of the first month, after that the priests and the Levites were sanctified. They that were of the captivity were not all sanctified together, but the Levites were all sanctified together. And so they offered the Passover for all them of the captivity, and for their brethren the priests, and for themselves. And the children of Israel that came out of the captivity did eat, even all they that had separated themselves from the abominations of the people of the land, and sought the Lord. And they kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days, making merry before the Lord, for that he had turned the counsel of the king of Assyria toward them, to strengthen their hands in the works of the Lord God of Israel. First Esdras chapter 8 And after these things, when Artaxerxes the king of the Persians reigned, came Esdras, the son of Sarias, the son of Azarias, the son of Hachia, the son of Salum, the son of Saduk, the son of Achitob, the son of Amarius, the son of Ezias, the son of Merimoth, the son of Zarias, the son of Savius, the son of Bocus, the son of Abisum, the son of Phanes, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Esdras went up from Babylon as a scribe, being very ready in the law of Moses that was given by the God of Israel. And the king did him honor, for he found grace in his sight and all his requests. There went up with him also certain of the children of Israel, of the priests of the Levites, of the holy singers, porters, and ministers of the temple, unto Jerusalem. In the seventh year of the reign of Artaxerxes, in the fifth month, this was the king's seventh year, for they went from Babylon in the first day of the first month, and came to Jerusalem, according to the prosperous journey which the Lord gave them. For Esdras had very great skill, so that he omitted nothing of the law and commandments of the Lord, but taught all Israel the ordinances and judgments. Now the copy of the commission, which was written from Artaxerxes the king, and came to Esdras the priest, and reader of the law of the Lord, is this that followeth. King Artaxerxes unto Esdras the priest, and reader of the law of the Lord, sendeth greeting, having determined to deal graciously, I have given order, that such of the nation, of the Jews, and of the priests, and the Levites, being within our realm, as we are willing and desirous, should go with thee unto Jerusalem. As many therefore as have a mind thereunto, let them depart with thee, as it hath seemed good both to me and my seven friends the counselors, that they may look unto the affairs of Judea and Jerusalem, agreeably to that which is in the law of the Lord, and carry the gifts unto the Lord of Israel to Jerusalem, which I and my friends have vowed, and all the gold and silver that in the country of Babylon can be found to the Lord in Jerusalem. With that also which is given of the people for the temple of the Lord their God at Jerusalem, and that silver and gold may be collected for bullocks, rams, and lambs, and things thereunto appertaining, to the end that they may offer sacrifices unto the Lord upon the altar of the Lord their God, which is in Jerusalem. And whatsoever thou and thy brethren will do with the silver and gold, that do according to the will of thy God. And the holy vessels of the Lord, which are given thee for the use of the temple of thy God, which is in Jerusalem, thou shalt set before thy God in Jerusalem. And whatsoever thing else thou shalt remember for the use of the temple of thy God, thou shalt give it out of the king's treasury. And I, King Artaxerxes, have also commanded the keepers of the treasures in Syria and Phoenicia that whatsoever Esdras the priest and the reader of the law of the Most High God shall send for, they should give it him with speed, to the sum of an hundred talents of silver, likewise also of wheat, even to an hundred cores, and an hundred pieces of wine, and other things in abundance. Let all things be performed after the law of God diligently unto the Most High God, that wrath come not upon the kingdom of the king and his sons. I command you also, that ye require no tax, nor any other imposition, of any of the priests, or Levites, or holy singers, or porters, or ministers of the temple, or of any that have doings in this temple, and that no man have authority 
to impose anything upon them. And thou, Esdras, according to the wisdom of God, ordain judges and justices, that they may judge in all Syria and Phoenicia, all those that know the law of thy God, and to those that know it not thou shalt teach. And whosoever shall transgress the law of thy God, and of the king, shall be punished diligently, whether it be by death or other punishment, by penalty of money, or by imprisonment. Then said Esdras the scribe, Blessed be the only Lord God of my fathers, who hath put these things into the hearts of the king, to glorify his house that is in Jerusalem, and hath honored me in the sight of the king, and his counselors, and all his friends and nobles. Therefore was I encouraged by the help of the Lord my God, and gathered together men of Israel to go up with me. And these are the chief, according to their families and several dignities, that went up with me from Babylon, in the reign of King Artaxerxes, of the sons of Phineas, Gerson, of the sons of Ithamar, Gamal, of the sons of David, Latus, the son of Sechenius, of the sons of Ferez, Zacharias, and with him were counted an hundred and fifty men, of the sons of Pahath, Moab, Elionius, the son of Zarias, and with him two hundred men, and of the sons of Zatho, Sechenius, the son of Yezalus, and with him three hundred men, of the sons of Adin, Obeth, the son of Jonathan, and with him two hundred and fifty men, of the sons of Elam, Yosias, son of Gathalias, and with him seventy men, of the sons of Sephatius, Zarias, son of Michael, and with him threescore and ten men, of the sons of Joab, Abdias, son of Yezulus, and with him two hundred and twelve men, of the sons of Banid, Asalimoth, son of Yosaphias, and with him an hundred and threescore men, of the sons of Babi, Zacharias, son of Babai, and with him twenty and eight men, of the sons of Astoth, Yohanes, son of Akatan, and with him an hundred and ten men, of the sons of Adonikam, the last, and these are the names of them, Aliphalet, Yoel, and Samias, and with them seventy men, of the sons of Bago, Uthi, the son of Estalcharis, and with him seventy men. And these I gathered together to the river called Theras, where we pitched our tents three days, and then I surveyed them. But when I had found there none of the priests and Levites, then sent I unto Eleazar, and Iduel, and Masman, and Alnathon, and Mamias, and Euribus, and Nathan, Unatin, Zacharias, and Mosolomon, principal men and learned, and I bade them that they should go unto Sadius, the captain, who was in the place of the treasury, and I commanded them that they should speak unto Dadeus, and to his brethren, and to the treasurers in that place, to send us such men as might execute the priest's office in the house of the Lord. And by the mighty hand of our Lord, they brought unto us skillful men of the sons of Moli, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, Asabebia, and his sons, and his brethren, who were eighteen, and Asebia, and Anuus, and Osias his brother, of the sons of Hanuneus, and their sons, were twenty men, and of the servants of the temple whom David had ordained, and the principal men for the servants of the Levites, to wit, the servants of the temple two hundred and twenty, the catalogue of whose names were shewed. And there I vowed a fast unto the young men before our Lord, to desire of him a prosperous journey, both for us and them that were with us, for our children and for the cattle. For I was ashamed to ask the king footmen and horsemen and conduct for safeguard against our adversaries. For we had said unto the king that the power of the Lord our God should be with them that seek him, to support them in all ways. And again we besought our Lord as touching these things, and found him favorable unto us. Then I separated twelve of the chief of the priests, Asebrius and Asanius, and ten men of their brethren with them, and I weighed them the gold and the silver, and the holy vessels of the house of our Lord, which the king and his council, and the princes, and all Israel had given. And when I had weighed it, I delivered unto them six hundred and fifty talents of silver, and silver vessels of an hundred talents, and an hundred talents of gold, and twenty golden vessels, and twelve vessels of brass, even of fine brass, glittering like gold. And I said unto them, Both ye are holy unto the Lord, 
and the vessels are holy, and the gold and the silver is a vow unto the Lord, the Lord of our fathers. Watch ye, and keep them till ye deliver them to the chief of the priests, and Levites, and to the principal men of the families of Israel, in Jerusalem, into the chambers of the house of our God. So the priests and the Levites, who had received the silver and the gold, and the vessels, brought them unto Jerusalem, unto the temple of the Lord. And from the river Theris we departed the twelfth day of the first month, and came to Jerusalem, by the mighty hand of our Lord, which was with us. And from the beginning of our journey the Lord delivered us from every enemy, and so we came to Jerusalem. And when we had been there three days, the gold and silver that was weighed was delivered in the house of our Lord on the fourth day unto Marmoth, the priest, the son of Eri, and with him was Eleazar, the son of Phinees, and with them were Yozabad, the son of Yesu, and Moeth, the son of Saban, Levites. All was delivered them by number and weight, and all the weights of them was written up the same hour. Moreover, they that were come out of the captivity offered sacrifice unto the Lord God of Israel, even twelve bullocks for all Israel, fourscore and sixteen rams, threescore and twelve lambs, goats for a peace offering, twelve, all of them a sacrifice to the Lord. And they delivered the king's commandments unto the king's stewards, and to the governors of Chelosiria and Phoenish, and they honored the people and the temple of God. Now when these things were done, the rulers came unto me, and said, The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests, and Levites, have not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor the pollutions of the Gentiles to wit, of the Canaanites, Hittites, Pharisees, Jebusites, and the Moabites, Egyptians, and Edomites. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land, and from the beginning of this matter the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. And as soon as I had heard these things, I rent my clothes and my holy garments, and pulled off the hair from off my head and beard, and sat me down sad and very heavy. So all they that were then moved at the word of the Lord, God of Israel, assembled unto me, whilst I mourned for the iniquity. But I sat still full of heaviness until the evening sacrifice. Then rising up from the fast with my clothes and my garments rent, and bowing my knees, and stretching forth my hands unto the Lord, I said, O Lord, I am confounded and ashamed before thy face, for our sins are multiplied above our heads, and our ignorances have reached up unto heaven. For ever since the time of our fathers we have been and are in great sin, even unto this day. And for our sins and our fathers is, we with our brethren and our kings and our priests were given up unto the kings of the earth, to the sword, and to captivity, and for a prey with shame unto this day. And now in some measure hath mercy been shewed unto us from thee, O Lord, that there should be left us a root, and a name in the place of thy sanctuary, and to discover unto us a light in the house of the Lord our God, and to give us food in the time of our servitude. Yea, when we were in bondage, we were not forsaken of our Lord, but he made us gracious before the kings of Persia, so that they gave us food. Yea, and honored the temple of our Lord, and raised up the desolate Sion, that they have given us a sure abiding in Jewry and Jerusalem. And now, O Lord, what shall we say having these things? For we have transgressed thy commandments, which thou gavest by the hand of thy servants, the prophets, saying, That the land which ye enter into to possess as an heritage is a land polluted with the pollutions of the strangers of the land, and they have filled it with their uncleanness. Therefore now shall ye not join your daughters unto their sons, neither shall ye take their daughters unto your sons. Moreover, ye shall never seek to have peace with them, that ye may be strong, and eat the good things of the land, and that ye may leave the inheritance of the land unto your children for evermore. And all that is befallen is done unto us for our wicked works and great sins. For thou, O Lord, didst make our sins light, and didst give unto us such a root, but we have turned back again to transgress thy law, and to mingle ourselves with the uncleanness of the nations of the land. Mightest not thou be angry with us to destroy us, till thou hadst left us neither root, seed, nor name? O Lord of Israel, thou art true, for we are left a root this day. Behold, 
Now are we before thee in our iniquities, for we cannot stand any longer by reason of these things before thee. And as Esdras in his prayer made his confession, weeping, and lying flats upon the ground before the temple, there gathered unto him from Jerusalem a very great multitude of men and women and children, for there was great weeping among the multitude. Then Jehonias, the son of Jaelus, one of the sons of Israel, called out and said, O Esdras, we have sinned against the Lord God, we have married strange women of the nations of the land, and now is all Israel aloft. Let us make an oath to the Lord, that we will put away all our wives, which we have taken of the heathen with their children, like as thou hast decreed, and as many as do obey the law of the Lord. Arise, and put in execution, for to thee doth this matter appertain, and we will be with thee, do valiantly. So Esdras arose, and took an oath of the chief of the priests and Levites of all Israel, to do after these things. And so they swear. 1 Esdras chapter 9 Then Esdras rising from the courts of the temple, went to the chamber of Yoanan, the son of Eliasib, and remained there, and did eat no meat nor drink water, mourning for the great iniquities of the multitude. And there was a proclamation in all Jewry and Jerusalem to all them that were of the captivity, that they should be gathered together at Jerusalem, and that whosoever met not there within two or three days, according as the elders that bear rule appointed, their cattle should be seized to the use of the temple, and himself cast out from them that were of the captivity. And in three days were all they of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin gathered together at Jerusalem the twentieth day of the ninth month. And all the multitudes sat, trembling, in the broad court of the temple, because of the present foul weather. So Esdras arose up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed the law in marrying strange wives, thereby to increase the sins of Israel. And now, by confessing, give glory unto the Lord God of our fathers, and do his will, and separate yourselves from the heathen of the land, and from the strange women. Then cried the whole multitude, and said with a loud voice, Like as thou hast spoken, so will we do. But forasmuch as the people are many, and it is foul weather, so that we cannot stand without, and this is not a work of a day or two, seeing our sin in these things is spread far, therefore let the rulers of the multitude stay, and let all them of our habitations that have strange wives come at the time appointed, and with them the rulers and judges of every place, till we turn away the wrath of the Lord from us for this matter. Then Jonathan the son of Azael, and Ezechias the son of Theokanus, accordingly took this matter upon them, and Mosalom, and Levis, and Sabathius helped them, and they that were of the captivity did according to all these things. And Esdras the priest chose unto him the principal men of their families, all by name, and in the first day of the tenth month they sat together to examine the matter. So their cause that held strange wives was brought to an end in the first day of the first month, and of the priests that were come together and had strange wives, there were found, of the sons of Jesus, the son of Yozadek, and his brethren, Matelis, and Eleazar, and Yoribus, and Yoadanus, and they gave their hands to put away their wives, and to offer rams to make reconcilement for their errors, and of the sons of Emmer, Ananias, and Zabdeus, and Anes, and Semeus, and Hiarael, and Azarius, and of the sons of Phaesur, Elionis, Masias, Israel, and Nathaniel, and Okidalus, and Talsus, and of the Levites, Yozabad, and Semis, and Colius, who was called Kalitas, and Patheus, and Judas, and Jonas, of the holy singers, Eleazarus, Bacurus, of the porters, Salumus, and Tolbanes, of them of Israel, of the sons of Phorus, Chiarmus, and Edius, and Melchius, and Maelus, and Eleazar, and Asibius, and Baanius, of the sons of Ella, Matanius, Zacharias, and Chiarielus, and Chiaramoth, and Aedius, and of the sons of Zamoth, Eliadus, Elisimus, Othanius, Yarimoth, and Sabatus, and Sargius, of the sons of Babai, Johannes, and Ananias, and Yozabad, 
and Amathais, of the sons of Mani, Olamus, Mamukus, Yadeus, Yasubus, Yasael, and Hieramoth, and of the sons of Adi, Naathus, and Musius, Lacunus, and Naidus, and Methanius, and Sethul, Balnaus, and Manasseus, and of the sons of Anus, Elionus, and Asaeus, and Melchius, and Sabaeus, and Simon Hosameus, and of the sons of Asom, Altaneus, and Matthias, and Baaniah, Eliphalet, and Manassas, and Semei, and of the sons of Maani, Jeremias, Momdis, Omaerus, Uel, Mabdai, and Peleus, and Anos, Charabasian, and Anasibis, and Mamnitanaimus, Eliasis, Banus, Eliali, Samis, Selamius, Nathanias, and of the sons of Azora, Sesis, Esriel, Azaelus, Samatus, Zambis, Yosephus, and of the sons of Ethma, Mazitius, Zabadius, Edis, Uel, Bananius, all these had taken strange wives, and they put them away with their children, and the priests and Levites, and they that were of Israel, dwelt in Jerusalem, and in the country, in the first day of the seventh month, so the children of Israel were in their habitations, and the whole multitude came together with one accord into the broad place of the holy porch toward the east. And they spake unto Esdras, the priest and reader, that he would bring the law of Moses that was given of the Lord God of Israel. So Esdras, the chief priest, brought the law unto the whole multitude from man to woman, and to all the priests, to hear law in the first day of the seventh month. And he read in the broad court before the holy porch, from morning unto midday, before both men and women, and the multitude gave heed unto the law. And Esdras the priest and reader of the law stood up upon a pulpit of wood, which was made for that purpose. And there stood up by him Matathias, Samus, Ananias, Azarias, Urias, Ezekias, Balasimus, upon the right hand, and upon his left hand stood Aldaius, Misael, Melchias, Lothasubus, and Nabarius. Then took Esdras the book of the law before the multitude, for he sat honorably in the first place in the sight of them all. And when he opened the law, they stood all straight up. So Esdras blessed the Lord God Most High, the God of hosts, Almighty. And all the people answered, Amen. And lifting up their hands, they fell to the ground and worshipped the Lord. Also Jesus, Anus, Serabius, Adinus, Jacobus, Sabateus, Ateus, Meianius, and Kalitas, Azarius, and Yoazabdus, and Ananias, Beatus, the Levites, taught the law of the Lord, making them withal to understand it. Then spake Ateratis unto Esdras, the chief priest and reader, and to the Levites that taught the multitude, even to all, saying, This day is holy unto the Lord, for they all wept when they heard the law. Go then, and eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send part to them that have nothing. For this day is holy unto the Lord, and be not sorrowful, for the Lord will bring you to honor. So the Levites published all things to the people, saying, This day is holy to the Lord, be not sorrowful. Then went they their way, every one to eat and drink, and make merry, and to give part to them that had nothing, and to make great cheer, because they understood the words wherein they were instructed, and for the which they had been assembled. Proverbs chapter 2 verses 1 through 15 My son, if thou wilt receive my words, and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom, and apply thine heart to understanding, yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment, and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, and judgment, and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, 
discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh froward things, who leave the paths of uprightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil, and delight in the frowardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked, and they froward in their paths. Acts chapter 22 Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept the more silence, and saith, I am verily a man, which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city, in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous toward God, as ye all are this day. And I persecuted this way unto the death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women, as also the high priest doth bear me witness, and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I received letters unto the brethren, and went to Damascus, to bring them which were there bound into Jerusalem, for to be punished. And it came to pass, that, as I made my journey, and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me, and I fell unto the ground, and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. And they that were with me saw indeed the light, and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise, and go into Damascus, and there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man, according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me, and stood, and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him, and he said, The God of our fathers hath chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. And now why tarriest thou? Arise, and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. And it came to pass, that when I was come again to Jerusalem, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance, and I saw him saying unto me, Make haste, and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. And I said, Lord, they know that I imprisoned and beat in every synagogue them that believed on thee. And when the blood of thy martyr, Stephen, was shed, I also was standing by, and consenting unto his death, and kept the raiment of them that slew him. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. And they gave him audience unto this word, and then lifted up their voices, and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for it is not fit that he should live. And as they cried out, and cast off their clothes, and threw dust into the air, the chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle, and bade that he should be examined by scourging, that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman, and uncondemned? When the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came, and said unto him, Tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, Yea. And the chief captain answered, With a great sum obtained I this freedom. And Paul said, But I was free born. Then straightway they departed from him, which should have examined him. And the chief captain also was afraid, after he knew that he was a Roman, and because he had bound him. On the morrow, because he would have known the certainty wherefore he was accused of the Jews, he loosed him from his bands, and commanded the chief priests and all their council to appear, and brought Paul down, and set him before them. That concludes our reading for the day. May the Lord bless everyone listening, with strength, health, and courage, today and always.